Good evening. I'm pretty tired right now, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to make the cinnamon crunch cereal from All Day I Dream About Food. One of my favorites and one of my husband's favorite cereals was always ca um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But of course, we're not going to eat that anymore because we know what sugar does to the body. So, what you're going to need is one cup of almond flour, half cup of milled flax seed, one third of a cup of swerve or sweetener of choice, and eight tablespoons of butter cut into small pieces. I'm still working on that. Getting all buttery. Now what you're gonna do is preheat your oven to 300 degrees and line a pan with parchment. And you're gonna get your food processor out. Probably could do this in a blender. You're pretty much making pie crust if you've ever made pie crust. Uh, you are going to combine the almond flour, the flax seed, oh, also cinnamon. This is two teaspoons of cinnamon, and then the one third of a cup of swerve, and then you're going to put in your butter. And then you'll just pulse it until it becomes crumbly. Just like the, if you're making a good pie crust. Mm, pie crust, right? There we go. Speaking of pies, uh, we don't have a table, so we have a Roku player. And... I watch a lot of WQED, which is our local PBS station in Pittsburgh. And they had this show on all about different pies all over the country. And yeah, it got me looking. And I can say that we are good when it comes to pies for low carb. I found a ton of recipes. So now that you've got the coarse crumbs going on, you're going to spread this on your baking pan evenly. Now, I think you could easily make this vegan by using uh, eight tablespoons of cold coconut oil. You could also go super primal and probably use like lard too, but I digress. Now, what you're going to do next, look at this beautifulness right here. Oh. All right, so what you're going to do next is you're going to throw this in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes until golden brown. And then your next step is while that's going on, in a smaller bowl, you're going to combine two tablespoons of sweetener and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Just mix that all up in there to get it ready. Now this is going to be a topping and while it's hot straight out the oven you're going to sprinkle this all over that crumb mixture and then just let it cool completely and when it's completely cool you're going to want to uh, crumble it up pretty much and it'll turn into small pieces and it'll make six servings. I recommend weighing the whole thing out, dividing it, and putting it straight into little baggies once it's completely cool, simply because once you start eating it, you're not going to want to stop. And this, it's not super carby or anything, but it's super calorie dense. Well, not really super calorie dense. Let's just say you're going to want to eat all of it. And so for the sake of self-control, put it into pre-portioned baggies because I know... I could easily probably eat half the recipe in one serving. It's cereal, you know how it goes, except this cereal is not going to kill you. Make six servings. Each serving has 284 calories, 28 grams of fat, 6 grams of protein, only 7 grams of carbs, and 5 grams of fiber. So when you make this, you can have cereal in the morning. Throw some heavy cream on top or a non-dairy unsweetened milk. 
You know, I have the cashew milk in there. I also have heavy whipping cream. That would be delicious. Uh, you can actually go to All Day I Dream About Food, and I believe there's actually other recipes. If you're also into different kinds of cereals and you, you miss it, another good wet recipe, place to get uh, cereal recipes that are low carb is uh, Maria Mind, Body, and Health. Maria Emmerich, she makes also some pretty good keto cereals. Uh, and once this cools, I'll show you what it looks like. See you in a minute. Welcome back. So straight out the oven. Work quickly. Oh yes, yeah. sprinkle all that cinnamony goodness. It's a tough life, but somebody's got to live it. There we go. And then you just let that cool. And once it's done, put it in a bowl on your digital, that digital scale or whatever you've got and portion that out. This smells amazing. And I can't wait to eat it in the morning. And the link will be in the description. And thank you so much.